everyone. Uh, welcome back once again to Modern Life of the 70s Mind. My name is Bob. I'm happy to have you here from near and far. And I am doing a Dimash video today. So there's people I know from all over the world that just follow every reaction that come out on him. So welcome. I'm glad to have you here. If you've seen my channel before, thank you so much. Um, also, I'm happy to announce I've got a new Patreon page. If any of you are interested in checking that out, that would be awesome. And uh, any support you could give me, that would be great. If not, at least on YouTube, if you can give me a thumbs up and if you would subscribe to my channel, that would be even better. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a good day. Today, for me, it's a Sunday, and I did nothing but chores all day, uh, ones that I've been putting off, and I was really good at putting them off. But, you know, you get to that point where you just run out of excuses and it's just easier to do it. So <laughs> I, I, today was a makeup day. I, I had a makeup for everything I've been putting off. So it is now about nine o'clock at night and I'm finally settling down and I want to do a video. So the video I'm going to be reacting to today is fly away. I don't even have to say much more about Dimash than you guys already know. He's amazing. And every video I've seen of him has just blown me away. So Let's stop this jabbering. I'm going to get my headphones on and we'll start, jump right into it, okay? Hold on. So if I know anything about Dimash, we're going to have a good production. There's going to be some amazing vocals and it's going to be very entertaining. So let's just get right into it. Again, this is Dimash and he is singing Fly Away. Here we go. Before, uh, <laughs> that was quick. That was probably one of the quickest jump-ins you've had. Um, is it me, or does he use a lot of blues and reds in his video? That's those That color combination seems to um, show up quite a bit. It makes for a dramatic effect. I really like it, but um, just an observation. Okay, real quick, <laughs> you know, the last video I did of uh, Home Free, I jumped in way too much, but um, I'm jumping in a little bit because I, these the thoughts come to my mind, and then by the time I break halfway through the song, I forget what I was going to say, but um, I did want to make mention of the his style of singing in the song. <clears throat> it's almost like he's like whispering the lyrics. And for some reason, that actually, I think, draws my attention even more and almost forces me to listen like a little closer to what he's singing. Um, because it's so, I don't want to say it's like a secret, but he's whispering something. And anytime people whisper, you, you know that they, they listen even better. So I don't know if that's his intent here or if it's just his style that he's singing this song or what. But interesting. I like it. Think about the need to be loved. Everybody needs to be loved anyway. Why we have to lie every day? Why we need to stay if you don't want to stay? Set me free, I want to fly away. You're all the thing you know me. You're all the thing you know. I'll find a way to find my way. Set me free, I want to fly away. As I always say, I don't mean to play the role of Captain Obvious, but there is clearly a Michael Jackson influence here. The way he's dressed, the way the background dancers 
are dancing. Even the sound of this um, just really just screams of Michael Jackson. And you know what? And I'm blaming Home Free, Pentatonix, and Voice Play for this. I hear this background sound, and to me, that would be perfect for like a beatboxer with those guys. Can you imagine him kind of on one song joining one of those acapella bands and singing? That would be nuts. Um, but and let me backtrack. Listen to the background sound, uh, what I'm talking about, and you'll you'll probably agree that, wow, a beatboxer would probably do a good job at that. Here we go. Right? I can totally hear any of those bands doing this. I see perfect people, perfect world. I see perfect system, don't go. I say now it's time to break free. This is a legitimate place to break, I think. He is playing us when it comes to that chorus, isn't he? Um, I thought at one point, the, he's done it twice now. The first time he goes through the chorus, you're waiting for that big, here he comes, and then he just brings it down. And it was like, what? And uh, then he does it again, and a second time, he kicks it up. He doesn't kick it up as as powerful as he can but i'm not sure you have to do it in this song um but man that first time when when i heard that i'm like what you didn't do that <laughs> so all right here we go keep going oh, i like this oh you know what these camera angles are really cool um just the angles and even the way the dancers are moving um, really adds to the uh, to the video. Here, let me back that up. It started right around here. There. Look, with the lights going all different directions and the cameras tilting and the dancers leaning. Yeah, that's really cool. Come on, Dimash. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's it. Dimash. Wow. Um, well, that was different. <laughs> this is um, definitely geared towards a uh, younger audience, I think. It's really a type of sound I've never heard from him. And I think this is the first video. Yeah, I think it is. The first video I've watched of him where he just didn't belt it out and let those octaves go up as high as he does, which is fine, but not every song requires it. I thought I had heard most genres from him, but yet this is another one that I hadn't um, I hadn't heard that before. He did manage to keep um, the same softer side throughout the song. Like I said, he never had that 
crazy out of this world moment like he often does. I think that's a good thing, though. You don't want to keep recreating the same song over and over again. Sometimes it's not how high you can sing. It's how good you can sing. And he sang this crazy good. He was on a, I think he was on some type of path with this song and he stayed on it. On this song, there wasn't a need to create anything new. I think, like I said, the crowd that he's appealing to on this, uh, I don't think they really need this high moment. And maybe most of this, and I apologize, I didn't pay a lot of attention to it, but maybe a lot of this was about the lyrics. You know, one of the problems with Dimash is I get so wrapped up in his singing, I kind of forget that there is a there are words behind this song, and I kind of blew it on this one. But um, as far as the singing, that was amazing. And that whole cinematography stuff going on was great as well. Okay, let me get my headphones off. Let me think about this for a second. This one kind of caught me off guard a little bit. So uh, let me regroup, and I'll be back for my final thoughts. Hold on. So I apologize that I didn't follow the lyrics as much, but since this was clearly um, a song geared towards younger people, um, I, I would think that his point on set me free and fly away is kind of um, don't let people hold you down. Uh, do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. I, I'm going to guess kind of maybe that's what the lyrics are. Um, man, it's so hard not to focus on his singing when you're listening to Dimash, because that's the number one thing for me is his voice. It's amazing. So um, I was surprised again by this video. I didn't expect to see pop star Dimash. Didn't even know that was in him. But um, obviously, this was more of a pop type song. You know, in the past, he's made me laugh. He's made me dream. He's made me cry. He's made me love. Now he makes me young. <laughs> Listening to this song, I kind of feel younger. Um, that was such a uh, extremely unique performance um, with all the airiness in his voice. I've heard him sing like that before, but never kind of throughout the song. Um, that was a nice little change. I like that. There's no need, like I was saying earlier, there's no need to keep hearing the same song over and over again. This was completely different, geared towards other people in a different style. It was great. Obviously, Dimash's stage presence is through the roof like every video. There's not going to be a Dimash video that you watch that isn't going to be just packed with uh, stage performances that are beyond anything you normally see in a video. I have to admit, I was getting a little tired just watching some of those dancers, though. <laughs> At my age, anytime I see people jumping around and leaning and bending, I'd do like two of those bends, and my back would get thrown out, and my knee would give out, I'd be on the floor. Um, oh, getting old is great. <laughs> the, the production of this, obviously, as well as everything he does, is a thing of beauty to behold. I wonder how involved he is in that part of the process. I know musically he's involved, I believe, in everything. And if you're that good and if you're that skilled and if you've had that much training, yeah, you deserve the respect and people are going to listen to you. But I wonder as far as the choreography and the cinematography, how involved he is in that. If I had to guess, I would say he's very. Um, that's what I'm guessing, but I don't know that for sure. You know, I hear something like this, and I can't help ask myself, like, okay, so he filled up another little spot that I had never heard him sing. So where does he go from here? He's proven that he can sing basically anything. Um, to me, I think this song is kind of a good direction to take. Make songs that are more um, appealing to different groups of people and back that music up with strong and meaningful lyrics and continue to entertain like he does. That's the, I would say, his magic for pulling off whatever he does every darn video I've seen. Um, this is so different from what I've heard, but it was just as good. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this because I really did. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And again, if you don't mind checking out my Patreon link at the bottom, that'd be great. 
and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out. Have a great day. I appreciate you all listening. Bye.